Hey everyone, it's David Mendel here with the Valley Premier Team, my home crew, and this is Brogan McGuire with Caliber Home Loans. And we're here today with a brief market update. So, uh, what's been happening in, let's say, the last month to six weeks? Well, first and foremost, on the real estate side of things, we are seeing more inventory. Uh, more inventory is good. It means more selection to buyers. It means more opportunities for people. Um, with more inventory, that would indicate that uh, there could be a small correction in pricing. We haven't actually seen that yet, at least at volume, but we we are beginning to see the amount of, of the pricing over and above list may be coming down a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but the good news is that we still have plenty of buyers in our market, so it remains a strong market. And I want to emphasize it will always be a strong market as long as we continue to have the organic growth that we have in Arizona. For example, uh, a lot of people don't don't realize that Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the nation and that over the last 10 years we averaged the number one in growth in the nation. Um, we have a lot of tech companies coming here. We're, they're bringing employees with them. So a lot of reasons why we will continue to grow and the market will continue to be strong. Now, I am not an analyst, but I have followed this closely and I see a small correction, uh, maybe around 5% meaning that we might see an adjustment down that's a dip, not a drop, just a dip. Uh, and then by 2023, 24, um, we'll be back where we are or more. We're, we're gonna continue to see appreciation in our market, uh, at least from, from my perspective and all the research that I have done. So, uh, with that in mind, we have a strong market, but we have more opportunities. As far as opportunities are concerned, one of those fantastic opportunities are historically low rates. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Brogan take off of that one. Yeah, well, rates are still phenomenal, obviously. We did see a little bit of an uptick over the last couple of weeks, about an eighth of a point. Um, but that's really a good thing, and, and, I'll, and I'll give you some more context on that. The reason we saw that that slight uptick is the Federal Reserve is talking about easing back on some of the money they've been dumping into the market, which has been causing inflation to go up a little bit. Check out our video on inflation for a little bit more info on that. Um, but essentially, they're doing something about it. They're not gonna let inflation run rampant. Um, we don't want that, you know, rampant inflation to an extent is good. We, you, know, you want that in a market to an extent, but rampant inflation, we don't want. So they're doing what they can to find that balance. Uh, and in the interim, at least, we're going to see you know a slightly higher interest rate, but you're still looking at about 3%, give or take, for 30-year fixed rate, which is phenomenal, especially when you think that inflation's at 5.5%. So still a phenomenal time to be buying and a phenomenal time to be getting a mortgage, that's for sure. Yeah. Now, another thing to consider, uh, there's good and bad in everything, and so let's assume for a moment that I'm correct and that there is a a small dip in the market over, the, let's say, the next six months. Mm -hmm. If Brogan rates go up another, let's say, half a point, mm -hmm. three quarters of a point, I'm not saying they will, but they are at some point going to raise, and they yeah. have to. Yeah. Uh, then, even if the market is dipped, but you have a higher rate, you may not be actually saving anything. And knowing that our market will remain strong, knowing that we have good organic growth in our market, it really is still a great time to buy. As long as you understand that you're, you're this is a long-term purchase, it's a long-term investment. This is something that you're doing, hopefully, both for yourselves and your families and for your retirement, at least moving in that direction. So uh, that's what we're seeing. Uh, we, uh, we have good things on the horizon and we hope that that brings you a little insight into what we're seeing in Phoenix real estate and uh, in our market in general. Well, thanks again, everybody. We really appreciate you watching. And as always, if you have any questions, drop us a comment. Let us know. Reach out to us. Text, phone call, email, whatever it may be. We're happy to help in any way we can. Yeah, we're always here for you guys. Love answering questions. So feel free to reach out. Until next time, have a wonderful afternoon, terrific evening, and we will see you again very soon. Happy going, guys.